Hello, you are watching Balahibo Math Genius Readers. Here's the fun factorial questions. n factorial equal to n squared. n is positive integer. Find the value of n. You may easily to get the value of n. In this video, we share two kinds of math operations to find the value. Would you please to find the value of n? Pause the video and find the value while you are ready. Keep watching the video to find the fun factorial thinking idea. The simple questions then factorial equal to n squared. We may guess if n equal to 1. Therefore, n factorial equal to 1 factorial equal to 1 and uh, n squared equal to 1 square equal to 1. So n equal to 1, that's the answer. How about we go through mathematics and logic thinking to get n from n factorial equal to n square. Before that, what's the factorial? n factorial equal to n times quantity n minus 1 times quantity n minus 2 times the number different one from the previous items da, 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 to times 3 times 2 times 1. For example, 5 factorial equal to 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. 4 factorial equal to 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Then 2 1 factorial equal to 1 and then divide 0 factorial equal to 1. Our given information n factorial equal to n square. Then we can adjust n factorial equal to n time quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to n square. Move items to the same side of equations as n square minus n time quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to 0. Factorize as n time bracket n minus quantity n minus 1 factorial bracket equal to 0. So n equal to 0. Or n minus quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to 0. While n equal to 0, substitute n by 0 to the given equations n factorial equal to n squared, 0 factorial equal to 1, and 0 square equal to 0. 1 not equal to 0, so n factorial not equal to n squared. Therefore, 0 is not the answer. Then review n mass quantity n mass 1 factorial equal to 0. Adjust as n equal to quantity n minus 1 factorial. Let's check the number of n while n equal to 1. Then quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to quantity 1 minus 1 factorial equal to 0 factorial equal to 1. So n factorial equal to n squared. Then n equal to 1 is the answer. While n equal to 2, quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to 1 factorial equal to 1. n equal to 2 is not the answer. And n equal to 3. Quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to 2 factorial equal to 2 times 1 equal to 2. n equal to 3 is not the answer too. Then check n equal to 4, then quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to 6, n equal to 5, quantity n minus 1 factorial equal to 24, so n equal to 4 and 5 is not the answer. After that, you find the value of n increase, the value of quantity n minus 1 factorial increase lots from n equal to 4. So increase the value of n, the value 
of n were smaller than quantity n minus 1 material. Therefore, there is no answer for n except n equal to 1. Then let's think in another ideas. Let's check the factorial value such as 0 factorial equal to 1, 1 factorial equal to 1, 2 factorial equal to 2 times 1, 3 factorial equal to 3 times 2 times 1. And we also get 4 factorial and 5 factorial. If the value of factorial become a square, check all the value of this factorial. 1 can meet this criteria. It means 0 factorial and 1 factorial properly is the answer. But in the beginning we note n equal to 0 is not the answer, so n equal to 1 is the correct value. That's the form factorial thinking. Hope you to enjoy the video. Thank you.